Hi everyone, it's Cliff here for YC Test Drive. Welcome back to my channel. For a few fans that I have, really appreciate for subscribing on my YouTube channel um, and on my Facebook channel as well and on Instagram. Really appreciate it. For those that are seeing this for the first time, let me just explain what I do. So what I do, I love cars. I like driving cars, test driving cars, talk about cars and just really I'm fascinated by cars. So I have to apologize. I've been away for quite some time, but I'm back again. <laughs> Just a month ago, I went to the Zambezi region where I did test drive a Toyota Prado VX. That video, if you remember this video. It's coming up, so I'll put that video after this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a 2016 VW Transporter. The infamous T6. Before I start, start talking about this car, let me give thanks to the sponsor of this video, Nature Wheels. So Nature Wheels is a car rental company that is specialized in renting out VW, including this one, VW Amarox, which I'll show you just now. Just now that you want to travel out with your friends and family, here's an Amarok for you to rent. Nature Wheels has a lot of them. We also have a truck there, 14 seater, so you can rent out and go with your family. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the Omega, the transporter, the T1, introduced in 1950 all the way to 1967. This was the first. The second generation, the T2, was introduced in 1967 to 1979. In 1972, a Type 4 engine was available on this model. Third generation, the T3, produced from 1979 to 1992, it was heavier and larger. In 1985, four-wheel drive was introduced, it was also produced in South Africa. The fourth generation, the T4, produced from 1990 to 2003. First one with a front engine, which came with a water-cooled engine. The fifth generation, the T5, produced from 2003 to 2009. This came with a variety of pickups, single cab and double cab. In 2009, there was a first lift to 2016. The diesel engine with dual clutch was introduced with a 7-speed direct shift gearbox DSG. The T6 has a 2-liter TDI engine producing about 150 kilowatts. That's 204 horsepower and 450 Nm of torque. This gentlemen is my favorite car. That's why it's named Cliff. Look at it. Just look at it. This is a car to have. Let me just quickly show you about this car. Let me show you the edges, the caves that this car has. It's changed from the older model. The fog lights, there was some upgrade on the fog lights and the lights. These are the, not the original rims. These are aftermarket rims. It makes it look buff and, and mean. I like that, really. It just looks nice. It's a nice car. They have changed the back lights change they are quite different from the previous model it has the rear reverse camera you have the, the tow bar you can pull the trailer with this it's quite high compared to other vans this is really uh, it's a turbo diesel injection just as we said and the four motion okay the name itself says it all it's a transporter which is a seven seater but if you remove the seats from the inside this is how it would look like let me just show you we just removed the seats now Look at how huge it is. It's like a, it's, it's huge. You have enough space here. You can put a, a bed here. You can put a, some bedrolls. You can do, go camping. You can load stuff in here. Um, of course, you have your first aid kit here with your, your tools here for your changing tires. So it's quite huge without, without seats. I'll just show you now with the seats inside. The reason why this car is my favorite car. Let me show you inside. Okay, so simple. It does not have auto lights. Um, you have your, your lights here and then you adjust your mirrors here um, and your windows. Unfortunately, only the two front windows that you can uh, adjust on here and lock the car central locking system here. You can fold the mirrors, of course, it's a wide car. Just like any other VW, my favorite thing, the steering wheel. I love the steering wheel. Okay, this feels quite not so big as you would expect for a big car like this. Um, but you have everything that you need here. You have your, vo your voice control here. You can select a couple of few settings here and you do sc scroll on the other side and pick up the phone here. And on this side, you have your volume, your skip, and you can mute 
on here your wipers this side of course just it's vw and the indicators on this side so this is an automatic car it's a dsg gearbox seven speed automatic i love the dsg gearbox and then you can put it in special mode as well down here you can have drive here neutral reverse and parking on the other side so let's just quickly start it let me show you if you put it in drive if you pull it this way then you can start changing the gears yourself um, and this way then it's an automatic if you pull it down further down that is a special mode you have the rear diff and also here you have the traction control that you can engage and disengage especially when you are on sand you then disengage your traction control this is quite simple and easy you have your temperature here you have your your fan here and you have your uh, where you can do the adjustment if you want your legs and so forth and other apart from that the aircon here and the return air and the, the, the windshield warming up so that's very very fairly and easy here you have a touch screen radio it's quite dusty it's quite windy unfortunately a few settings here and there you have bluetooth here as well okay here you have your parking sensors which you can activate and deactivate and your hazards there and your usb port right there this is where you will then have your rear aircon this is the your, your your cooling or warming at this side and this is the then your your fan uh this is something extra this is the tire monitoring system just to show the tire pressure on the car and you have a pocket here and you can other put other things here as well uh, on top there you have then your cup holder or your cool drink holder and also down under here you can also use this as a storage okay you have storages on uh, both sides on the other side of the door and on the, in the driver side the dashboard really flows quite nicely you can see everything is intact you can see the vent the way they are made really they look nice as it flows down coming to the gearbox lever as you come down to the handbrake so the handbrake is right here i like the handbrake it's really quite good you have three seats here and you also have the three seats at the back plus two in front which is all in all it's actually eight uh, eight seater including the driver so let me just show you how you will then slide it like this if you want to go to the back seat um you have plenty of space here um, at the back actually i am stretching so it's really quite plenty of space you just slide it like this push it forward and then you can come out the best part that i can show you now is that it opens both sides so even this side it opens so you have you can either enter from that side and the seat on this side also flips like this you can also enter at the back from this side but look at the space it's humongous it's enough legroom, especially here uh, on this seat. You really have enough space. You really have really good, comfortable seats and quite wide and big. I like that. I like that about this car. So let me show you the loading space at the back. Um, here at the back, you have really enough space. Even with, with all the seats inside, there's still enough space to load stuff here. This is a family car. If you have a big family, this is the car where you would load Everything that you need to load in here, you can still pull the trailer and really it's just a perfect car, perfect family car. So let's take it for a test drive. Let me show you what this car can do then. Okay, one of the things I like about this car is that it has the reverse camera as we said. So uh, just look at how clear the camera is at the back. You can see as we reverse and you have parking sensors, just look at how clear that is. I can actually, normally I use the reverse camera instead of using the, the mirror, very, very clear, which you can always change. Okay, so you have parking sensors both in front and at the back, which is good for a big car like this one. This car, I just love the way it drives. First of all, just as I said, the armrest. It just makes me feel like I'm in a living room and automatically uh, the central locking system locks as soon as um, the car starts moving. I like that. It just drives very smooth. It's really quite a good car and it, it, it just rides. And it, that's why it's my favorite car. Because this is actually Cliff. So, 
I like that. I just like the way it picks up. It's a DSG gearbox, so it really changes quite quick. Just see how it drives. This car will give you at least 800 kilometers on one tank. It's a 70 liter tank, which is just around about 9.5 uh, liters per 100 kilometers. So it's very, very good for fuel consumption on a big car like this. It's a four motion, as we said, so it's a four wheel drive. So it can almost go anywhere. It's a little bit lifted compared to the other transport that you will see. The owners, they just did a little bit of adjustment in terms of lifting. So it's really quite a good car. I like the way it picks up. Uh, if you just listen to that. Come Cliff. That, that really picks up quite nice. I like that. This, this, this ladies and gentlemen, it's a car. It is a car and a half. Yeah, it's a huge car, but it's, it drives quite well, very smooth, uh, it feels safe, it makes me I have enough leg room and you have cruise control, so it's just a lovely, lovely car. I think, personally, I feel this car is quicker than an Amarok, that's what I can just tell you. It's very slow from picking up, let's say if you stop like now, I'm going to stop at this four-way stop, from a dead stop. Like I will stop right now, it's a four-way stop, so I just completely dead stop. From zero to pick up, it takes a little bit of time, but as soon as it picks up, the way it changes gear, it's so smooth. It just goes like, woo, woo, just easily and take it easy. For a huge car like this, it's amazing. I, I, I'm in love with this thing. Just now, as I'm indicating the tail, the fog light is already, you can see the fog light coming on. So, I've had fun with this machine. I'm going back now. Um, I really enjoy driving this thing. It just, it makes you feel big for a huge car like this one and still driving this smooth, you will always feel big Okay, so the most difficult part now Just as usual, I always say the five things that I would have changed or the five things I wouldn't like about the car But it's very difficult on this car Because this is my favorite car it's actually just like someone asking you what don't you like about yourself it's very difficult to say but yeah just a few things let me just quickly highlight you a few things okay, first and foremost um, if you come inside you only have you only have two front speakers for sound system which can be a problem especially for the people at the back it's a huge car the people that are sitting at the back it's really difficult they want to hear what's happening here 
Okay. Secondly, the aircon. Of course, you have the aircon at the back, but people at the back cannot control the aircon. You have to control the aircon right from the front. But I think you should be able to control the aircon at the back um, yourselves as the passengers. Okay, the other thing is uh, the steel rims that actually that comes with this car. They are quite soft on gravel road. This car is meant to be driven on gravel road. So on gravel road, um, if you drive with a flat tire, they can easily bend. The reason we have the rims on here, it's because somehow as the, the, the client drove with a flat tire, it bent. And then buying another one, it's very expensive. Actually, it was cheaper buying four of these black ones than to buy one rim. So that in itself, it's a problem. I think I don't like that. The armrest also, it's only on the driver's side. Of course, again, I'm still saying the Caravel has uh, armrest on all the seats, but this one only have on the, on the driver's side. They should have put some armrest at least on the front passenger side. Okay, the last thing that I would have changed, it's the back window. The back window, unfortunately, you can't open it. Only, you only have the window opening this side and on the other side. But the back window, for the last seat, you can't open it. So that in itself, um, they could have just put a, a, a sliding window here. Of course, you understand this is a transporter. It's made to transport stuff. But um, these are just a few things that I would have changed on this car. But all in all, everything about this car is just the best. This best car I've ever driven. Oh, this is my favorite car of all cars that you can mention. Okay, You can see, comparing it to the Amarok on the other side, you can see how high this is. So it's good for ground clearance. This is the perfect, um, perfect height. It's a little bit up on, uh, on, on the back side, just so that you can load enough stuff at the back. So um, that's about this car.